Hey everybody, this is just a short video showing you about the new feature called Live Listen that's been added to iOS 12 for your AirPods. But first, what is Live Listen? In 2014, Apple introduced the Live Listen feature that's designed to allow an iPhone to pair with hearing aids and then serve as a remote microphone that beams the audio the iPhone picks up with its microphones to the hearing aids. So now with iOS 12, Apple is bringing this ability to your AirPods, letting iPhone users position their iPhones as a directional mic and have the audio relayed through to the AirPods. This is a pretty cool feature. I've already started using it for late night TV viewing when I want to minimize noise and not disturb my partner's sleep. But it could also come in handy for people who are hard of hearing or need a bit of extra help separating voices in a loud environment. They could put their iPhone on the table in a noisy environment, such as a restaurant, and then have the voice of whomever is speaking routed to the AirPods as a stand-in for hearing aids. To be clear though, AirPods are not expected to replace dedicated hearing aid equipment now or in the future. But the ability to enhance audio fidelity while cutting down on ambient noise is a boon for some users with hearing impairments. I was going to show you how to set up and use this great feature, but it's since been removed from the beta. I'll do a follow-up video showing how to use this great feature in the future when it's been added back to the iOS 12 beta. In terms of the options and normal use of your AirPods with iOS 12, nothing's really changed. The same options are available as in iOS 11 with nothing new added to the double tap menu. Still Siri, play pause, next and previous track, and of course off. One minor change I've noticed so far using the public beta is that the battery indicator seems to pop up faster on the screen when I open my AirPods case beside my iPhone now. Before I used to have to wait about 10 to 15 seconds. Now it seems to pop up in less than 5 seconds. So I feel that's a great improvement. Hopefully Apple adds Live Listen back to the beta sooner rather than later so I can show you all how to use it, as I'm already missing it for late night TV viewing. It was a really handy solution for me. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.